Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our let's play here on Callan, a romantic coastal retreat island. You might hear it, <laughs> I'm a little sick so I'm a little nasally sounding maybe, although I feel like for me it's always worse than for others really, I'm not even sure you can tell as much. But that is also the reason why we're gonna do no face cam. I'm gonna try my hardest to be back in shape for our one hundredth episode next week i kind of can't believe it i'm recording episode 99 today and some of y'all have been here ever since like the very first episode you've been catching up with it you've been re-watching the let's play and i really really appreciate it i'm, I'm not gonna get all like mushy and whatever about it today because it's not it's not time for that yet we're gonna do that next week um, and I am still working on that summary I promised you, so uh, there is going to be like a video kind of showcasing all the 100 episodes in like very short snippets kind of, which I'm very, very excited for. It is probably going to take me like a little bit longer, but I'm definitely working on it. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, surfboards, I see. Okay, so last uh, episode, we actually worked on the area that I kind of started in today and then I just proceeded to run uh, entirely somewhere else, which is totally okay, uh, which was like the neighborhood section. We kind of worked on something for daily as well as pate. Um, and we, yeah, we just did like some incline stuff over here. Now, some of y'all did not like this path thing here. And I think I read that maybe I should put like a blanket down or something. I don't really, it's a very small space though. So I don't know. And then we're always going to have like a weird gapping moment, like right here. So I, I'm not really sold on like a blanket. I locked back in today after like a week because I was visiting my sister and I don't mind it. I actually think it's not that bad. Um, I know that we need like another bookshelf, but then maybe we can put the blanket more like over here or maybe somewhere else. But I just feel like this is almost too small of a space. This is literally like three tiles. So if I do a rug with tassels, I could do, just do like a one tiled rug. And rugs without tassels, I don't really love. So yeah, we're gonna have to think about that again. For today, I think something I would kind of want to work on. We have lots and lots and lots of unfinished areas still, unfortunately. I would like to work on this transitional part here because this has been one of the first areas that we ever created, like this part here for for Gala. This is Gala's like flower shop and flower farm. And then my house up here, which is kind of like a spa or I guess more of like a, I don't want to call it a spa because I feel like that's not quite correct. It's going to be more like a community house that also offers a couple of like spa treatments. And then from here, you can go over to either like the the bigger farm by the neighborhood or also the lake and then there's going to be a cafe and stuff and this has just been an area that i've been neglecting for a very very long time so i think it's finally time to focus on some transitions because as you know as much as i hate i actually don't hate them it's just transition transitions are tedious i would say because they're mostly the same like they're always gonna be like you know, flowers and shrubs and weeds and whatnot. Um, and so they're always going to be somewhat tedious, but they're necessary to make an area really like come together, you know? All right. So first things first, as usual, um, oh, CJ is stranded on a cliff again. Cool. Cool. Uh, nothing new, really. <laughs> the first thing I usually do is, well, pathing, which has been done. And then the next thing I usually do is trees. So we're going to try and uh, do like a little bit of a tree layout here i know that these two i think yeah are also like marked as possible tree spots um i need to be careful because it's so it's a very narrow space right so i think there needs to be like a good balance of items and and things and trees but at the same time i want you to be able to walk freely and i don't want it to seem too crowded and weird um, same thing here. I don't know how far we're going to get today, but all of this is basically just going to be like a giant filler. I can hear mole crickets again. This is why I cover every tile. I have to stop those bees from spawning. <laughs> They're literally making me like angry at this point. Okay. I just thought about having a tree stump like here, but then we do have one on the other side. I don't know if that would look good. Um, or if we just go for like a tiny tree. Um, I'm also still missing a couple of tiles in that bottom, like, sunken area. I know uh, that I, 
I think I just wanted to maybe go ahead and drop some shells though. I don't know how many flowers we're still gonna involve. Probably not that many. I kind of honestly like it like this, like just a bit more greenery and then maybe dropping, yeah, maybe just dropping some shells in between. Okay, so these are possible. I know I didn't do one here because of the pink like hardwood tree right there. So I guess that probably makes sense. I'm not gonna add anything in between like the pathing. I guess the next tree would then be like here, which that actually could be kind of cute. Maybe these are some decent spots. I'm not sold on this one perfectly. And then I don't know if the fountain will actually end up being here or not. I'm not quite sure. I guess like we could probably bring this tree also like forward a little bit more and then use this fountain more against whatever this tree will be. I like the idea of the fountain here because of like the, you know, the relaxing kind of spa community house. It's a very annoying item also because it's a 1.5 tile item. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to grab it with me and, or like just, yeah, put it in my pockets, grab it, take it with me, you know, and then we're, we're going to see. Uh, and we're going to figure out some more tree spots. So, um, I think we could maybe definitely venture the tree spots out to some other place. I need to maybe look at a picture of my entrance. I don't know how much the trees are going to show up here. Okay, and then we're definitely working with like half tile stuff right there. <laughs> Great. I love that. <laughs> okay, but these could be trees. That's fine. And then I guess something over here, like that could also be a tree, which I think I actually planned for this to be one. So we should probably, we should probably do that. And then is this a full tile? Because I'm going to put a coat underneath and then we don't have to pick this up again. I mean, we shall embrace it. Uh, yeah, no, wait, was that not a full tile? That was definitely not a full tile. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're working with a bit of... Oh my god, I was standing here, right? And we placed the balloon right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's like half tiles. Oh, is it multiple half tiles? Ah! <laughs> I know, like, the balloon stuff was so annoying. Oh, okay, but this is, this can be something planted. Okay, that's good. Oh, so you're, you're telling me this is planted on, or this is placed on, like, the middle of four separate tiles? Oh, past Maline, what the heck have you done? <laughs> Oh no! Well, it's fine. It's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna cover it in leaves so it looks a bit more detailed, right? Like we're just gonna have... we're just gonna have some stuff here for for them details. Uh, I'm gonna... oh god, I'm rethinking. I'm overthinking. I am. I do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do leaves and then some flowers. There we go. Which means, I guess this is, this is that balloon, right? In the center there. This can be something planted. I might just plop down a clump of wheat for now, so I, I know this in the future. And then these three tiles will also just be some leaf coats. Okay, Pastoline really should have also taken care of this. I know, I know I was like fed up with, with this area when I, when I worked on it. Because <laughs> I was just like, okay. I placed it down, I found a way that it works, and I'm done. Uh, but still, you know, current, like, present Maline is just not, not very amused, I will say. Okay, I'm gonna put some, yeah, I'm just gonna put, like, a circle, circle-y bit of rock pathing path down here. Just so it's kind of done, you know? It's, it doesn't really, I don't think it's gonna show up, I don't think you're gonna see this from any which angle. But there's just something about placing codes underneath of items that makes me think of an area as complete. Even if you can't see it. Isn't that weird? I think that's weird. All right, Mole Cricket. We're gonna take care of you. I'm just gonna plant some weeds. Oh, I think I got it. Yep, it's quiet. <laughs> I'm really, I'm just gonna start doing this now. Whenever like Mole Crickets show up, I'm just gonna stand in the area and plant everything like just spread weeds everywhere because it works it's it's really great okay i like these three trees um it probably would be nice if we put one like here or like a tile further back depending on kind of the trees over here and then i guess maybe one like a tree here would be cute probably that was where the mole cricket was huh 
here, or can this be a tree? I think so, yes. So that could also be a tree, which would then influence the location of, of that one here. I mean, I don't know. I don't really think it matters, does it? Would we want to be able to walk in front of the tree or behind it? How much space do we have here? I guess this probably shouldn't be trees just in case we do want to use this as like a secret passageway, which at this point I'm starting to question. I really don't think we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do that at all, but um, we should keep the option. We walk in front of it, maybe. We will walk in front of it, and then I mean, you know, this could be like a tree, but I just I don't think I want to bother. Y'all won't won't notice this in the DA, right? <laughs> Please tell me you won't. Uh, well, we might put a tree here, though. I don't think a tile to the right-hand side works because of cliff. Yeah, you'd have to squeeze. That's not that's not so good. Uh, so that would work. And I guess... Ooh, I don't know. None of these work. So I guess we should more maybe put one here. Here or a tile further to the front. Maybe these two. Maybe these two can be tree spots. Yeah. And then all of these as shown. And then these here, these here. This also could move one to, to the front, I think. Uh, and so could this, obviously. It might make sense though to keep this like further back and then we can plop like an item in front. I'm not sure which, but the option would be there. All right. So those would be like possible trees. Um, now I'm gonna go and get some trees actually. I'm just gonna get all the stuff that I need for them and then we're gonna decide which tree goes where and then fill the space up with flowers, etc. Okay, so cedar, hardwood, bamboo, and then I have uh, pears for the green hardwood and I have coconuts for, well, coconut trees. Um, so I think that should be all of them. And I apparently have a couple of fully grown coconut trees with me. I don't know if we're going to do like fully grown ones. Definitely not here. Uh, we have a stump right there. Okay. And then we have... I am using all of them, right? I always ask this question. Gosh. See, from the front, it probably would be cute if that is a bamboo tree. Uh, standing up here, though. Yeah, that also works. Let's do a bamboo tree here. That's probably gonna be, I don't know, maybe a third stage. Maybe that's gonna cover too much though. Thinking about it now with like the signpost that I've got there, that might cover way, way too much. Uh, and then I think this one I would want to have as a cedar tree. Maybe I'll switch these around. So this is a cedar tree. Then we get double bamboo. I don't know. That's a tough choice. Cause like this could also be a cute cedar tree. So could this be, I guess. Oh, wait, coconut. I forget coconut trees. Why? <laughs> I always forget coconut trees. Um, nom nom. I might do cedar tree still back here, but then the further the one in front is going to be like a coconut. This one here. I need to start the island designer for that. So give me a, give me a second and I'll focus on the others first. Yeah, so maybe like this is a coconut. And then maybe this is a coconut too. And this will be like a green hardwood. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> green hardwood. Uh, and then I definitely think this one here I would want to have as a hardwood. I think this should maybe even be like a pink one. I don't really have anything pink uh, that close. So we, we could turn this into like a full on pink tree. Uh, and have one of these as coconuts. I think this here should be a coconut. And then maybe this here should be like a green... Green hardwood or a bamboo? Maybe this can be a bamboo because they reach a little bit like just straight up. They don't cover quite as much. This will be a... Hardwood. Green... No, wait. This is a pink. Dang it. I'm gonna do green hardwood. Oh my god, this is so confusing. <laughs> Uh, green hardwood. There we go. Coconut. Um, yeah, and then maybe cedar. And then I don't know how to grow these. Um, coconut, coconut, coconut. 
And then I have this right here, which I thought about having as a green hardwood also. And it just kind of adds a little bit of nice coverage. I will have to see this though when we go into picture mode because I still want you to be able to kind of see enough of the farms. So I'm guessing it will have to be only like a third stage, like this right here. And then I'm, I, I, I don't know, the bamboo or coconut. They're both right there, but this is going to be the hardwood. So I want to go with bamboo maybe. All right. So uh, there's that. And now let me start my island designer and we can take care of the coconut trees. Loud waterfall close by. I apologize for that. Um, I hope in one of like an, in a future Animal Crossing, they might allow us to separately because like, OK, waterfalls are actually really, really loud in real life, too. So they're they're totally correct in having these so loud. <laughs> I'm not even saying that, but like. They're just, they're really annoying when playing. And I really hope that in like one of the future Animal Crossings that we're hopefully gonna see at some point that um, we're just gonna be able to kind of control the music separately from the sound effects, which I feel like is a very common thing in, in video games, but Animal Crossing doesn't allow you to. And so it can unfortunately happen that you get very annoyed with like the music tracks. I've gotten to that point also um, there's one in particular that I've grown to really resent, uh, just because I listen to it way too often, which is the, um, I guess like 8 a.m. Well, we're at 8 a.m., but not this one. The 8 a.m. rain track. It drives me up the wall. I don't even, I think it's because on my, on my, uh, is it Encanto or is it? Calathea. I think it's Encanto. Uh, I play during June and for some reason June on Encanto is basically just rain. Like that's all it is. Just rain. And so I constantly have to listen to the 8 a.m. Uh, like rain track because that's usually the time that I'll be playing at. And I just I can't even begin to describe how much it annoys me at this point because I like hyper focus on certain unlike certain. Hold on. I need to I need to just sort my pockets. I hyper focus on like certain sounds from it and it's just oh god no 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 okay i'm gonna get rid of a couple of things from my store from my pockets that i don't really need namely well i guess like any of these decorative pieces because i think they were for like very different areas i'll keep the shell fountain because we might use it and then, yeah, that's it. Okay, pockets are clean. Now, do we time travel first to get the trees grown? Probably, right? And then I might want to grab the blue fencing because I've used that before in this area and I might want to continue with like a little bit of the blue fencing. Plus, I might already grab some uh, weed fields because I know I'm going to use I have so much stuff. My gosh. <laughs> I have so much stuff. Okay, I'm going to grab some weed fields and I'm going to grab the blue fence. Um... Oh yeah, next episode, ooh, three pieces left. Uh, next episode will be the 100th episode. I did think of a tiny little special. I hope we're even going to be able to do that at all. Um, and we're also going to go and do like fossil assessment. I think next episode is really going to be one, uh, wait, let me order some wheat fields, where we like, we celebrate, but we also kind of take stock. I feel like maybe, I don't know if this is just kind of my imagination, but like, the 100th episode, I feel like some people might tune in who haven't been able to tune in for like a while. So I think it might be fun to kind of give like just a general update, you know, just to kind of look at our museum progress, look at kind of like all the stuff that we've done so far and uh, our plans for the next few episodes. Anyway, that is beside the point. We are going to go and time skip. Um, let's start with two days. Um, I haven't really decided any of these tree sizes, so we're going to do two days in case any of them need to be stunted right away. All right, let's go. And there we are, 8 a.m. and it's raining. This is the track that I mean. I hate it so much with every fiber of my being. I get really annoyed by it. Oh, I don't know. I can't even explain it. I used to like this, I'm pretty sure, but just not anymore. <laughs> just not anymore. Okay, um... All right, I don't know. What do we think? If this grows any taller, do we think this is going to block the sign? I'm, I guess so, right? I do want to see this from like down below because that's what made me decide to use bamboo in the first place. 
Yeah, because, like, that would be cute. If that's, like, bamboo there, I think that would be much, much cuter um, than having, like, yet another cedar tree. Or do we stunt this one? But then there's, like, literally two bamboo trees and, like, the same line of vision. I mean, there's gonna be two, like, relatively close here also, but, like, I don't know. And then I kind of want to maybe stunt this one. We're gonna have to take this one day at a time, okay? And then kind of figure out if we like it in the end or not. Um, I'm gonna let this grow one more stage and this also, so th those are gonna be both like third stage. This here could maybe also grow another stage. Yeah, just so it feels like a little bit more t like comfy, like cozy, I don't know. Okay, we've got these over here. Definitely will let grow both of them another stage. This one I think will be fully grown. Uh, this will at least be a third stage if not fully grown. Um, num, 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 num. And then I think same thing here, right? Yeah, we're still going to be able to see some of the farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so this is going to be third stage. This is going to be third stage. Um, fully grown, third or fully grown, third, and probably also third. This is going to be third. This is going to be third. This is going to be third. And then maybe this one too. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain on that one okay uh let's get rid of this rain music please on to the next day we go we got rid of the rain that's kind of good okay also as i'm still time traveling i need to remember to maybe continue ordering i don't even know if we're gonna need that many wheat fields but i think wheat fields are, are generally something i'll always need so it probably just wouldn't make sense i'm just gonna get my five orders in which also, once again, I don't even know, there's always these random things when I play Animal Crossing, like getting your five orders in that make me want to restart <laughs> and start like a no online island. It's going to happen. I, I don't know if I told you this yet, but it's going to happen. I have a theme for like a possible no online 30 day type of challenge uh, in the future. I just don't want to have too many islands at the same time going on. Oh... Uh... Yeah, okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. I think it's probably gonna look good from like the bottom tier, but... Actually, not even that much either. Okay, well, so... Mm... Okay, two possibilities. We do have a hardwood tree here, which I don't know, is this pink or is this green? This is... Uh, apparently a pink one. Okay, so never mind my pink idea. Plus, I think the hardwood at the on the bottom tier is also pink, now that I think about it. We could do, like, a green second stage hardwood. But, I'm gonna eat a peach. But, there is one, like, right there also in the sunken part. So, like, huh, maybe, maybe we switch them and then we do a second stage bamboo. Hold on, I feel like I'm confusing myself. Wait. Alright, so like cedar tree here. Which... It's fine. I don't think it's that bad, right? So maybe like the cedar tree here, and then this will be like a second stage bamboo. Possibly. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a look at that, but maybe this is a little bit better. Or should this be like another type of tree stump or something like that? But then maybe like a like a dark one or 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 like a I don't know I don't think bam like chopped bamboo probably doesn't look the best. Or am I should I just not do as many trees? I feel like we do need the trees though. Okay, I'm gonna stun the cedar to the front so we don't uh, interrupt the other one from growing for now. And then we're gonna take a look at that. Okay, but the rest of these I think are okay to stun so. Uh, this is a third stage. Yes, we will also go grab this. Is it gyroid? Yeah, gyroid. Um, actually good, because we still need to do the gyroid party for Ate. And, I don't know if you could hear it, but I hear another mole cricket. <laughs> I don't know where, though. Oh, definitely somewhere down here. Oh. I think it stopped again. I think it was this clover here. <laughs> That's really fun if you just start planting and then at some point it just shuts up. It's like, oh, okay, I guess that was that was it. Um, yeah, not annoying anymore. Okay, this is going to be a third stage. This, we're still going to let that grow. Um, I definitely think we're going to stop this hardwood from growing. 
Um, what's the bamboo? I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look at that from the front. I uh, definitely wanted this to stop growing. And I also think the bamboo also. Uh, which could be stunted using one tile. But I think since we're like behind stuff, it's it's okay. We can just stunt them here. That is totally fine. Okay, uh, so... Not really sure on that one. We might let this grow and this grow. So we've got like a bit more tree tree uh, things happening there. And then let me check the entrance from the front. Oh, interesting. You actually see these from here. Oh, I didn't notice. Okay, I didn't realize that you would see these from here. Now... Wait, is my tree on the... On the island, not growing? <gasps> no, I forgot to plant one here. I was like, wait, why is it so empty behind the campsite? I forgot to plant my tree here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, that sounded really like ironic. Uh, which one do we do here? I don't know if I was a fan of the, of the hardwood, by the way. I think the one on the platform in front of the campsite is a pink one. If I look at the picture, it looks like it's a pink one. Which one was this? Was this a... Was this a green one? Oh yeah, it's a green one. Okay, that might work then. Um... I don't know what to do for that, like, for, for that island thingy. Okay, because I if I stand here, I almost want to go for a hardwood just because it covers, like, more. It's like, it's like thicker, you know? <laughs> but then I don't know, here the hardwood trees actually seem kind of a lot. Maybe that's okay. What is the one in front of the campsite? I think those are green. That's green and so is... Oh wait, actually this is not hardwood anymore. I need to update my website, y'all. I'm just looking at the picture on my website. That's not accurate at all. That doesn't even have the lighthouse in it just yet. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that hardwood tree needs to be like just second stage. It almost looks a little bit too, too tall. I am thinking about letting the bamboo tree grow though. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do a I'm gonna try to do a hardwood. Yeah, we'll check this out here with a green hardwood. And then I think I'll stunt I'll stunt this one, but I'll let the other one grow. And then I guess we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so that means we're gonna have to time travel another two days for this tree, I think. Let's go and do that. And we seem to have a little bit of gloomy weather this time. All right, I think all I need to do is actually just stunt this tree, which shall we just do both of them at the same time? I think so. Okay, so we're just gonna stunt this one in, in the middle. I don't think anything else needed stunting. Uh, the only other thing that happened is that some of these grew. Yeah, I like these being fully grown, I think. Oh, and this one too. All right, wait, I can already grab the bamboo shoot. That's nice. I can already clean up a little bit, which I do like to do, at least in game. Not really, uh, not really anywhere else, but in game, I like cleaning up, you know? Ooh, speaking of, oh my God, shameless self promo. Um, in case you haven't seen it yet, I actually started a new YouTube channel, which is called Sparks Be Unwind. I will try to remember to link it down below and in the info card. Um, it's basically going to be my flattening videos. If you've seen them on my main channel before, um, or also I did the like real time ones on my archive channel, um, those are gonna be on a new channel from now on. So it's gonna be lots of like very oddly satisfying, comforting videos where we either flatten islands and Animal Crossing, or maybe I also thought about some long play type of content with cozy games such as Garden Galaxy or Townscaper, basically just like, hours and hours upon like building and comfy in-game sounds or also lo-fi music uh you can kind of watch those either as you try to fall asleep or maybe study or just have like background noise or um i've heard yeah i've heard of some people using them to keep your work laptop from falling asleep so i don't know there's many <laughs> there's many uses for them in case you're interested feel free to subscribe um the first video i think will be the neverland flattening video uh, and i think i'll post it on thursday just as like a little heads up okay promo moment done now let's go and time skip to i think I think, um, I don't know actually, do we want this to be fully grown? I think it wouldn't hurt to have this fully grown. So I guess we're just gonna skip forward like two more days and I'll also make sure to skip backwards so we see this with all the right colors. So I will see you again on probably like the 9th or 10th of April. 
let's go alrighty and here we are again so everything I think should be grown now there is a pink tree here these are both third stages I think that was planned we got these grown that one is a green one so is this coconut bamboo cedar yes okay all looking great we've been here again for like lots and lots of minutes and we've only really placed some trees it's great but if anything, you know, the Let's Play is supposed to show you that everyone really takes a long, long time to build islands, me included. And also, you know, keep in mind, this is still edited in the way that um, all the waiting times for like time traveling, all of that stuff is edited out. All right. So now you can see like there's a bit of foliage right behind the tent. Imagine in that gap in the middle there with the lily cloud, the lily of the valley is really showcased, huh? Um, yeah, but like here, that would be the, the campsite or the, like, that would be the tent. So I think, uh, I think that would work. Um, all right. Yes, I like, I like a lot. So that means I want to definitely focus on a couple of fillers. Um, it's, or yeah, like a couple more items. It's not going to really like be that much to be honest, but just like a little bit. So the first thing I'll do is I will use some wheat fields wait actually i'll check my my uh fountain here because i think this might still look cute to be honest i might want to push it over like that yeah maybe not <laughs> maybe it is a little bit too hidden now um i don't know if i was fully sold on the idea before to be fair would bringing the coconut to the front change all right our um opinion or m m well mine i don't know <laughs> Well, I guess from here, it's always going to look weird, right? I guess from here, this is really more the angle that I should be focused on. And then it's more going to be as you're walking past it. Which isn't terrible, to be honest. It is not terrible. All right, I do have some fencing with me, uh, which I did think about kind of putting here. So, like, this by a river. I think that's kind of cute. There's one here in front, and I feel like that's probably going to be mostly it we could maybe include some more uh somewhere here by like the the farmy bits let's say like right next to this hardwood tree you don't really see it obviously but it's still kind of there it's still kind of there yeah yeah that's kind of cute see this is good normally you i don't think you would see that because of my face cam um i think that that works uh, I don't even think we need to add codes underneath this one. We might have to underneath this here, though. I think I want to add some shells just underneath this one piece. Let's do these here, maybe. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then wooden fence. There we go. Um, and then I definitely like this part right here. I think definitely needs some weed fields. I'm just trying to decide if maybe I already want to start them like here. Uh, but we have we have weed fields up on the cliff that might be like too much but like half a tile and then the full tile goes to the front that might not be enough space yeah I thought so I'm standing a little bit too far to the front all right so kind of like this you know oh that would be nice yeah and then maybe the next one is gonna be like hot halfway in front of this uh there we go weed field number one and then to block that little gap there, weed field number two. It's not really that bad, is it? And then behind it, we continue with like other stuff. Or should this also be like behind? But I guess I would want to change it up a little bit. That's kind of a lot of weed fields in one part also. I feel like I usually don't do that quite that much. Uh, but speaking of, I might want to do more here. <laughs> Great. Um, maybe like right next to the coconut and then we'll see if we include more in the fillers towards like the front where the campsite is or if that's going to be all we do due to, oh no, these are exactly the same way around. Okay, I don't love that. Um, if we don't really do that much more because of like processing power, I do kind of worry about that a little bit. Or like here... Uh, I have a sapling behind this tree, so like that wouldn't work perfectly. Uh, no. Hmm, maybe not for this part. I kind of think this would be a good moment for like a pond stone, like maybe even right in the center. I don't know if we can walk uh, still if we if we do that. Um, 
Same question every time. We don't have a puddle code, huh? Oh no, we do. Oh yeah, we had the puddle code, but not the crack code. I don't think I'll ever learn that. <laughs> I think I ask that every single time I do fillers. I'm always like, do I have a puddle code? And they're like, yeah, I I've, I've had one since like the very beginning. Oh, you know what? Maybe we do like the we feel here then. And then towards the front. That might be like a little bit better. I don't know. I do not know. Uh, but this will be, this will kind of be like the basic idea of like the wheat fields maybe. Um, I am going to put some codes underneath this one. And also we need to put underneath, a uh, code underneath the, the shell fountain for sure. Which is going to have to be the plank, no, not the planks, the, what is it called? The tiles. I think I want to maybe do the broken tiles. I don't know if we could maybe also do like a circle start. Like this but then the back left is kind of just like broken apart I don't know it looks it probably looks weird because a shell fountain isn't like centered that's kind of why I wanted to break it off but like maybe that's still too much okay you need to move over to the side uh, okay let me try this front left uh, let me try also putting a broken piece for this front left and then maybe that's better I don't know. The shell fountain is so pretty, but it's so annoying. Why is it such an annoying item? Literally. Okay, and then I think I want to maybe stunt this one to the side here. Uh, because that'll be... That'll just be hidden by, like, the wheat field. And then this can be more like a shrub or a flower. Honestly, kind of think maybe that should be a shrub. Uh, which we don't have with us right now. I think I pretty much only have... Yeah, I only have like the tree stuff. I don't have any flowers. I don't have any more like items or anything. Um, okay, let's try the coconut tree one to the front maybe. Because I mean like it's also kind of cute if it's open like that. But I guess, I guess the coconut would help with the like somewhat asymmetrical feeling. Yeah, I don't know. It just, co it covers quite a bit. But it's cute with this angle. If we agree that we're all just going to look at it from like this angle maybe... <laughs> then I think it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna leave it like this maybe, and I'll wait for y'all to tell me what you think in the comments. If you think the fountain is like atrocious or if you think it's it's fine and kind of will blend in with like decorations around it, I guess. But yeah, okay. I'm just gonna empty my pockets a little bit further and then I think we're gonna grab a few more like small-ish items. I'm thinking of actually like a little bench there could also be very cute. Um, maybe like a garden bench or like a wild lock bench or a regular lock bench and maybe like a bike or something. I, yeah, I don't know if I want to do much more. I would say like this would be a good moment for the shell partition, but we have one in the sunken part and I think that's too close. Oh, we could try incorporating a garden lantern. Although they're also kind of weird because they're not even going to be lit, like lit up, I think, right? I don't think I want to have trash this close to the spa moment or like the community house and uh, no wave breakers no no let's do a bike cruiser bike and then we already have like signposts and everything so no on that one. Oh yeah pond stone I'm gonna grab with me and we also might just grab like a garden rock um miscellaneous I'm gonna return to in just a second and then I'm gonna go grab some shrubs already uh so that we can start spreading those around so right we got a couple of things let's see um because like garden bench i was thinking like right here you know but then how about that with the fountain there huh yeah not the garden bench maybe the log bench is alice thinking please alice what are you doing oh wait don't we have the log bench oh we literally have that on the cliff there alice no Honey, I hate to I hate to do this to you, but no. Actually, also, does anyone have fleas? <laughs> I still freaking need fleas. <laughs> I hate everything. Um, okay, probably not not on the garden bench. I think all of these spots are like a little bit too hidden for it to like be a bench. And I feel like it's just it's too close to the other spot that we've already used a bench with. So maybe just a bike. Maybe someone just drove past this and like they, I don't know, threw a coin in the fountain or something. 
Yeah, I think this might be okay. This might be okay. This will be like a, a flower, like a little weed here maybe. Uh, we need to figure out some... That was smart. Uh, we need to figure out some tiles underneath, which is actually I placed it with like three tiles space now. I don't think I have like a dirt path, right? That would be kind of cute, you know, like a little thin dirt snippet. Mm. Oh, why don't we do like one rock here? Okay, and then I have the pond stone that we wanted to place like over here. Yeah, I think that's okay. You know, so we just got like a few few filler bits like this. And then, I mean, so, okay, I have the... <laughs> wow, good, good commentary right there. I have the partition and the speaker in this bottom uh, wishing well thing. We could maybe try and work in the lamp over here to the right hand side where there's still like a bit of space. I can see that there's two areas here where I could put a code, like a shell code maybe. I'm gonna do maybe like a puddle. I hope I don't have a puddle anywhere close by. And then maybe there's just like this shell code here. And we're gonna put the vines back. Yeah, and then maybe I'll prepare this spot for a possible shell lamp with uh, some more kind of shell codes right there. And then maybe like a... Uh, maybe towards the side here we could actually just put like a shrub. I think I'm gonna do like a like a tea olive or something kind of lighter. Yeah, tea olive right there, okay. This a possible lamp and then I think we've got a couple of open towels towards the front here which some of them will just be will just be clumps of weeds. Like I said I don't think I mind this not having any flowers. I think that's maybe kind of cutesy for this part even. I would maybe spread around some more like dropped shells though. Uh, this is an open tile. Maybe like this one right here. Maybe even some tiles, some broken tiles, and then drop something on there. Unless I kind of think that that works. Oh, did I use the same? Oh, I did use the same shell code here. That's not good. Okay, and then I think here in the corner, I might also put like a shrub because I felt like this was a little bit too low. Like the weed was like a tiny one. I felt like that wasn't quite enough. And then I will grab. I don't, I, I only have room for like one dropped shell really at the minute. If I put everything the way that I kind of intended to. Okay, let's drop the summer shell here. And then here is the lamp, maybe, possibly. Yeah, I mean the stunt it, like the sapling thing there, maybe that's like a little bit too open. I think it it's okay though. Yeah, it's okay. Shall we do another piece of fence maybe like here? Yeah, I think that's cute. And then I'm going to put a shrub kind of behind this. Um, which I believe we're going to do maybe a hydrangea. Okay, I still have a garden lantern and a garden rock that I could maybe use. Garden lantern could technically be put there. I don't know if... We did use it before, right? Yeah, we have used one like right there. Um... I think that's a little too close. Maybe a garden lantern could be put just on this left side here. And then I also have a garden rock. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that in this part then. Maybe just somewhere somewhere else. Okay, I don't know how long the episode is because I, I, you know, time traveled and everything. Um, but I might not be able to do like that much more. I will just quickly spread around a couple more shrub, shrubs maybe. Uh, so we have like a little bit of a better idea of the area. Okay, so we're gonna do plumeria here And then I think we're gonna do azalea right next to it or like right next to the bamboo more like like this This will be a flower this will just be like a weed I think Maybe this could be a flower Then this would be a weed Okay, I think this I want to be, um, I think this will be a flower. Uh, we have a shrub right behind the fence now. Maybe that should be more in front of it, really. And then I definitely want to have a shrub, like, right behind the cedar tree, uh, which I think we're gonna make a plumeria, maybe? Yeah, and then bike needs to be moved, like, further to the left, but I, ca I can't walk there anymore if I do that now. Uh, and then maybe this also is one, so there's just like a little bit of, of greenery kind of as you walk past this. 
Uh, in that case, I think we're just gonna do an orange tea olive. And then maybe there just could be like another one here. Like an azalea. I kind of want to try with this being a shrub also. That might be... No, I think that still works in the walking around part. I, this is definitely just going to be a clump of wheat then. And then flower, flower. And then I guess this is a weed. This is a flower. This might be a weed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see this all come together and then I guess decide if I like it or not. This will be a flower. This will just be a weed. This is weird, like, out of out of order planning for me right now, by the way. Okay, shrub goes here. Uh, we will do... Hmm. Uh, hydrangea. Okay, I grabbed some flowers because I was like, I can't leave it like this if the next episode is going to be the 100th, like, episode. And then we've got, like, so many unfinished things that I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want that. So... Uh, we're going to spread around some flowers before I leave you to it. Um, I will start maybe with like a white mum right here. There we go. Um, we have a blue pansy in the back there and a blue windflower here. And then obviously we've got the fencing, which is also blue. So we're going to have to be a little careful with the amount of blue that we use. Maybe we'll use the hyacinth like right here. And then kind of use like a pink flower to the front here. Maybe like a wind flower. And then I'm going to put like another weed here. So these are kind of filled. Okay. Uh, Lily of the Valley is used right there. I feel like that could be somewhere... <gasps> Flurry, no! I'm sorry. I'm going to have to give out some head bonks today. Sorry, I apologize, but look at you being happy right away. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um, Alright, I think we're gonna do maybe like a... I have a pink mum, lily, or, or hyacinth, and I've used pretty much all of them relatively close. I've used almost all of them like relatively nearby. I wonder if it's gonna be fine if I use a mum here because I have the the white one, you know? Okay, so pink mum and then we're gonna do a white tulip right there. I think that's okay, actually. That might be okay. I have a Cosmo with me still, which I have not used. Um, but there's one back there, so I guess we shouldn't use it that close. Maybe here is good for the white Cosmo. Uh push that bike in so I can judge that a little bit better. White Cosmo. Actually, I could maybe be even put a bit closer. Uh, and then how about this as the Lily of the Valley? It's not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, Hyacinth. Oh yeah, maybe that should be the Hyacinth. Okay, so white hyacinth goes here. Uh, and then maybe something blue could go behind this, which I guess should be the windflower in that case. Okay, not my favorite. Hold on. We need to maybe just drop a shell right there. This will be the lily of the valley. Actually, I, I kind of like that. I think that's cute. And then let's put the white... Cosmo here and then I'll take the windflower and I'll put that in front of the bike here. I don't know maybe that's too much blue. <laughs> God. Okay it is quite a little bit of like a little bit of blue together but um still like decent-ish maybe. Okay here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the Cosmo a tile lower like this. Um then I'm going to try to put a pink lily right here, maybe? Like so. And then maybe like a pink hyacinth here. I don't know if that's too many hyacinth in the in the, in the, this view. But I think that's okay. And maybe this will be like a leaf pile. So this will be like lots and lots of codes, but 
if all combines with like if all is combined with like a weed uh, a leaf pile then maybe that's okay all right so then this would just be like a weed here and this would just be a weed i guess uh so are all of these okay that is pretty much all the tiles and then i just need to drop maybe like a shell or something here I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of stressful in a way where you sometimes worry that like, oh my god, now I'm messing it up. <laughs> this is just messing it up now. Um, alrighty, so last courses of action for today. We're gonna get a conch to drop and we're gonna get a leaf pile. I hope that I have one. Uh, oh, I have literally one. One singular leaf pile. Okay, that will go on the list of things I need to I need to um, acquire very soon. Okay, here's the leaf pile. Place this. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is too open looking, but I feel like maybe that's the best that we can do right now. And then here is a conch. Or shall we switch the blue windflower and the pink lily? Let's try that. I feel like maybe the blue windflower in combination with the shrub behind the cedar tree will kind of have or like provide a bit more coverage uh, and make it look not quite as open. Um, and I guess the other thing that we could still do is we could place like a smallish item, like a half tile type of item here. I don't really know the options. I mean, maybe like a tr like a grass standy. Oh, I don't have, I just have a hedge standy maybe. I don't have a grass standy. I don't think I have anything else that's like half a tile wide though. Or I guess, I don't know, thick? Yeah, not yet anyways. Okay, Um, in that case, let's go and skip so all of these are grown in. We'll take a final look and then I'll send you off. And here we are. Okay, actually, you know, I think it's coming together. I will say I definitely, this one is not great. I don't know what annoys me or like not annoys me but like i feel like behind this it might actually be better for that hydrangea shrub um we're just gonna have to see what we put in front of it but um yeah in that case you know we could actually place something else here i have absolutely no idea what but that could be something else placed i, I mean my mind goes to bottles <laughs> decorative bottles along the, the way you know <laughs> I don't know if maybe there's like a, uh, I don't know, maybe this like book stand or something else like book related to kind of grab that theme again from the right hand side. Apart from that though, I think this is okay. I like this part in the front here. I think that's totally fine. And I have to say with the shrubs growing in back there, obviously that still needs like a little bit of work. Um, but I feel like this is definitely kind of a nice coverage like right here by the by the bike i would say okay i'm gonna quickly scan if i see something for like in front of that fence if not though that's okay yeah so those would be like bottles i don't know if you have an idea for like this little part right here uh let me know in the comments below um but i think this is gonna be it for now i'm gonna go and rest my voice now uh if this was a little bit of a longer episode then i apologize or you're welcome depending on the mood that you're in uh okay can this weed be something else please yeah okay that is better all right. And then thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out today. I will hopefully see you in our next episode, which is literally going to be episode number 100. Um, I'm a little nervous about it, but I hope it'll be fun. I'm going to go drink some tea and take some medicine and hopefully be, be back to healthy in, uh, yeah, just like no time basically. Oh, paid actor, AKA balloon. Um, and yeah, once again, thank you all so much for hanging out today. And I hope that you will have an amazing time until I see you in my next video. Bye everyone.